MMA Viking here with Tor Turing at All Stars Training Center in Stockholm. What brings you down south? Yeah, I'm here for training, <clears throat> do some sparring. We're here for like a few days, three or four days, and just, just spar and train hard. And we, we, we come here like once in a month and just come to spar. It's, it's good for us. Great. And what, what guys from Rennie did you bring down with you? It's me and uh, Andreas Stahl. Okay. Yeah. What happened to David? Usually I see like you guys like are a crew. Yeah. And kind of roll yeah, together. David had some, some, some school he had to do, so he couldn't fall this time, but he's going to come down, uh, come down too. Okay. We usually like go town, me or Andreas go, or David comes too. It's like, you should travel a Great. Let's talk about the first fight. You can finally talk about something that happened on the yeah. show. Yeah. Fought Scott Rosa. He's a tall guy. I think he was 6'6 six, six or something. I didn't know so much about him. It was supposed to be a striker or something. I, I, I don't really know. I don't really know right now either, but uh, he's supposed to be a striker, so I took like the, the safe way to and take, took him down. Went for the takedown and, and uh, just worked my way to a submission from there. It was the choice I made just to, to secure the victory. Yeah, and are, are you thinking even at this level, like, let's not get injured, let's be safe, or, and you think grappling was maybe a safer way to get in the house? Yeah, yeah, of course, and, and if you want to get in the house and you have to be no injuries, it's, it's important to, to stay healthy. It's like the most important part of the, of the tournament is to stay healthy. Yeah. So, so that was always in my mind, of course. Great. Let's, they showed uh, lots of personal stories of guys bringing their girlfriends and their dads and all these tears. Who did you bring? I didn't bring anyone. You didn't I bring was, anyone? I was alone. The only, only Swedish guy on, on the, in Las Vegas. Yeah. Uh, shortly after your victory, uh, you were chosen uh, to be part of Chael Sonnen's team. Yeah. Seems like you guys have the same kind of personality, I think. Uh, uh, <laughs> not quite. I, I don't know. I, I think uh, I think he's gonna come up as a really good guy from this okay. show. I think uh, people are gonna change their way of seeing him. I find him a really really nice guy and a really really cool guy and hard worker. He just trained with his uh, with us all the time and just being a nice guy. I, th I think people's gonna think a bit different from him. Oh, good, because he's really selling selling the show, and I know the ratings are up because he's the best yeah. promoter. Yeah. Uh, so it must be exciting for you to be on a season where yeah, of course. everyone's of course. watching. Of course. Great. So, uh, did you, like, when it seemed like this odd situation where all the fighters are standing there and they're getting picked almost like, you know, grade school and who's next, and you weren't, you think you were picked fourth. Yeah. Uh, were you, like, at that point hoping you'd be on one team or another? Yeah, I was hoping on Shell's team. Okay. I kind of like his, his way of fighting, his, his style and his, the, the team he has behind him, I, I like too, so I kind of hoping for Chelsea. team. Okay, great. And uh, so far in the show maybe you've trained a few times with, with Chael? Mm, yeah, so as far, part yeah. Of the team? Yeah. Okay. And have you picked up anything on the wrestling side this, this early, or what, what have uh, you... Actually, we had, hadn't so much wrestling in the training. We had a lot, uh, Shell training with us a lot of the time, so he was just one of the, a, a guy on the team, so he was just training with us. So, so it was a nice experience to just train with him. We didn't have as much wrestling as I thought we would have. Okay. Because he had a lot of, of uh, stand-up coaches and grappling coaches with him. Great. And do you ever nudge any of those guys and, and, and mention that your your friend uh, Alex here, like, uh, will be fighting one of them soon? Or yeah, yeah. I think I think Shale had his had his eye on me, kind of like seeing what I'm doing and maybe get some some uh, inside tips. Of course, uh, of course. <laughs> I mean, they they're probably gonna fight soon. So yeah, that will that will be a cool fight. I think. Yeah, yeah. Great. Well, thank. Thanks for spending some time with us and we look forward to seeing what happens on the show. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you.